Okay, this is the last of the series. If you've made this far, give yourself a pat on the back, you deserve it. All we have to do now is start up all the different processes that make up our OTM server. Start by making sure your network is enabled, because if it's not, you'll have trouble starting the app server. Then open a terminal and log in as Oracle. This is how we are going to start all processes every time we reboot this server. First, start the database listener. Same command we used on the last video. When the listener is up, it's time to start the database instance. Again, nothing new here. Uh, just connect to the database instance as sys and execute the startup command. Database is up, time to start the web server. Change directory to home slash oracle slash otm slash install slash ohs. And run dot slash glog web dash wl start. Next one is the app server. Change directory to home slash oracle slash otm slash install slash web logic. And run dot slash glog app dash wl start. Now we just have to wait before our application is fully up. We can tell it's up by checking for the OTM event server ready message on weblogic's log. Change the directory to home slash oracle slash otm slash logs slash weblogic. And use the tail command on the console.log.0 file. We are looking for the OTM server ready message. Give it a few minutes and keep checking. And when it shows up, it means OTM application is up and we are able to log in. It's going to be slow when using for the first time, mainly because we just have 4 GB assigned to the virtual machine. It usually improves a bit as you use 
So open Firefox and enter OTM's URL, which is OTM server colon seven 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 seven. Wait for it to load the login screen. And when it does, use dba.admin as user and change me all caps as password. And there you have it, your own OTM server. Well done. Now it may be a good time to back up your virtual machine in case you want a fresh start in the future. Goodbye for now and good luck on your studies.